Ladies and gentlemen, Florida is having the giant African snail problem all over again. I did a story on them a few years ago, and it looked like it's a problem once again in Florida. And these things, one thing, they, they are very destructive. It, it's definitely an invasive species, and they love plaster. So if you got plaster, which most of us do, you know, in our homes, they love eating plaster and they will literally eat it all up. So whenever they are spotted, they immediately have to quarantine the area because these things cause meningitis if you come in contact with them. So it can be a danger. So the giant African land snails are back in Florida. How do these things even get in Florida? They're not even native down there. So uh, spurring intensive efforts to destroy the invasive mollusks before they spread and wreak agricultural and environmental havoc. So after one of the large brown snails was spotted earlier this month, north of Miami, the state has declared a quarantine and treatment area over a few square miles in Broward County, city of Miramar. The quarantine joins two others already under the state, one in Lee County, which is home to Fort Myer, and Pasco County, north of Tampa. So the giant African land snail is one of the most, it's definitely a dangerous one and very damaging in the world, consuming at least 500 different types of plants. The Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services declared this week, these snails could be devastating to Florida's agriculture and natural areas as they cause extensive damage to tropical and subtropical environments. They've also been known to attach to houses and eat stucco walls. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. The Miramar quarantine means it's illegal to move the snails and lots of other things, including plant, soil, debris, and building material through or from the defined area without explicit permission. Giant African land snails contain both male and female reproductive organs. Yes, I was reading they can lay up to 500 eggs at one time. That is like crazy. So they reproduce very quickly and profusely. Mm -mm -mm. 500 eggs at once. That's like crazy. USDA warns of serious health risk to humans. The snails can be carriers for rat lungworm, a parasite that can cause a rare type of meningitis in humans. At full size, the snails can grow up to eight inches long and almost five inches in diameter about the size of an adult fist. They also have a brownish shell that covers about half of their body. Last summer, a master gardener of Pasco County spotted one of the snails in the city of Port Ritchie, Newport Ritchie, leading to a quarantine in the area. Yeah, because even if you don't see the snails, if you happen to put your hand on something they were previously on, you can get sick. You can get sick. And getting sick from these things, from what I understand, is relatively easy. Why do these snails keep arriving? They were brought in as pets, which was illegal. That's how they got there. That's how all of those... Um, animals that are not native to Florida, that's how they all got there. People 
brought them in as pets, decide they don't want them anymore and just illegally throw them out in wooded areas. And, and then they just start spreading beyond that. So they said people would get these giant African snails and keep them in terrariums and, or, or, you know, illegally keep them in, you know, some type of container within their house. And it really shouldn't have them at all. And they said there were many that were illegally kept in the U.S. Well, that's how they all get here, especially if they're not native to Florida, which these snails are not. So alternatively, the snails might be brought in as snacks. Yeah, because in West Africa, they eat them. You know, I even saw someone cooking them up. They will eat them. So it marched the customs officials at Detroit Metropolitan Airport sees six of these giant African snails in a suitcase. Wow. And they said uh, the person brought them in from Ghana. So Florida has eradicated the highly invasive snail before. Well, you could not have eradicated them if they're still there. This is according to the USDA. The snail arrived in downtown Miami in 1966 and wasn't declared eradicated until 1975. In that time, the state destroyed more than 18,000 snails and thousands of eggs, costing more than $3 million just to do that type of cleanup of these snails. But of course, they are back. So the snails appeared again in Miami in 2011. After efforts of the USDA Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service and the Florida State, the snail once more declared eradicated in 2021. But guess what? They are in plain sight down there in 2023. I don't even know why y'all keep saying you're eradicating something and the thing is still crawling around down there. I, I don't know. Y'all y'all crazy like that. So anyway, the cost to destroy 168,000 snails and countless eggs are far greater this time around. More than $23 million have already been spent. The eradication process that begins now in Miramar will be lengthy. The state will treat properties in the areas with the snail bait 26 times, followed by seven surveys, including one performed by a dog specialty trained to detect the snails. The quarantine will remain in place throughout the process. The state's agriculture department says in order to safeguard Florida's agriculture industry, natural resources along with ensuring that there's no international trade implications in force due to the establishment of these pests. So y'all, you're going to have to tell me what you think. I, I'm just laughing at every time they're claiming eradication and they keep cropping up every so many years down there in Florida. So you know, there's going to always be people going to places like Africa and sneaking these kind of evasive creatures in here, you know, because they've always done it and, and always got away with doing it. Y'all, please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. And if you're down in Florida and you're one of my subscribers, let me know if you have seen these African giant snails down there. Peace, family.